التفكير انه بدنا نهجم على اسرائيل بمجلس الامن وكل كل الدنيا بتقوم وتوقف اما امريكا قامت وضربت دار الزور ما حدا حكى شيء بدنا جايين لهون جاي كل رجال يحاسبوا يلي قتلوا دار الزور مو جايين لعنا مشان هيك بس منظر نحن رح نكبر ونشيلك من ارضك يا امريكا Massacred by a state army, by the Israeli governmental forces, and uh, that they are shooting hospitals and ambulances. This is uh, outrageous. Uh, this is not Boko Haram. This is the, uh, the Israeli governmental forces. So where is the world to stop this? Where is the world to to uh, to tell Israel that they have to respect international humanitarian law, to uh, to respect the sovereignty and the immunity of hospital ambulances and civilian people? If you look at the numbers, I have the very fresh numbers. Um, as of this morning. Uh, 1,031 Palestinians have been killed in 21 days. Among them, 236 are children. So it's almost a fourth. Every fourth killed is a child. 6,233 have been injured. Among them, 1,949 children. Almost 1,700 children injured and 200 and to now I think we'll pass 250 killed children. Now what would the world have said if Palestinian militants had killed 250 Israeli kids in three weeks? What would Obama have said? What would EU have said? And what would the Israeli government have said? These are double standards that we cannot accept. A man is a man, a woman is a woman, a child is a child, regardless of color, nationality, and where you live. This is what I've seen in Gaza now. It is a, a very brutal um, display of the Israeli apartheid politics. They don't really consider the Palestinians as their equals. Uh, and if the answer is that uh, they can kill as many Palestinians as they like without the world protesting, then it's up to us, ordinary people, to, uh, to organize uh, political actions to stop that. We want human rights for all. We want, of course, security and peace for the Israeli people. But that cannot be until they are uh, lifting the siege of Gaza, stopping the occupation, and securing human rights and uh, political freedom for the Palestinian people. Okay, this is fantastic, Dr. Matz. We are so glad having you here. And uh, bear in mind that you are not here on your own, because you are here with all these hundreds of Palestinians that will be supporting you while you're being in the European Parliament in uh, defending uh, this country that is being uh, oppressed at this moment. Thank you very much for being here. of the Palestinian people, that they do not resort to panic and chaos in a very difficult situation. They stand tall, they show their smooth, their uh, steadfastness and their discipline and their humanity in this extremely difficult situation. That is my most important impression. Then of course it's extremely painful to see all the children who are being killed and, and, and injured, all these civilians. 50% of all uh, injured are women and children and uh, these are innocent people of course even Israel admits that they have uh, about 70% civilian casualties they say uh, according to UN the number of uh, killed and injured civilians is 80% of the total of the total total killed and injured so this is an attack on the Palestinian civilian people which we cannot accept and um, they need uh, they need you to support them they need you to donate they need you to to organize political uh, support for the just cause of the Palestinian people so be responsible take your uh, your part uh, take take part in this movement to uh, to show solidarity with Gaza with the West Bank with the Palestinian people now it is our moral and political obligation actually and did they see what we do in Europe they see this the for example the demonstration yeah they, they see, see they see it on television but uh, most of all they uh, they see the Israeli F-16 and uh, the nannies and the drones and the bombs and the, the blood the Palestinian blood running in the streets running running in the playgrounds in the homes uh, in the schools in the hospitals mm -hmm. they they have actually bombed and um, and attacked uh, so far uh, 28 medical facilities okay uh, they have uh, partially destroyed 12 hospitals three of them so much that they had to be closed 
which are the uh, uh, Al-Wafa Hospital.